So do I speak into this? Uh, yes, just like the microphone you guide with. Okay. So, Scarlett, how would you describe your first month being a tour guide? Too many people. Londini, Ludenburg, Ludenvik, London. Founded by the Romans in 50 AD and one of the greatest cities in the world. The number of tourists to visit London in 2013 was 16.8 million, making it the most popular destination in the world. Do they come to see the 1,000 year old landmarks? Or do they come to catch a glimpse of royalty? Or do they come to stand on the wrong side of the escalators and annoy the locals? It comes down to one group to handle these rebellious visitors. It comes down to one group to answer the question, which way is it to Leicester Square? Who are these people? They are the official London tour guides. 16.8 million. Wow, busy. Hello? My name is Ashley Jones and I'm a tour guide for official London tours. I've been a tour guide here for two years. Do you like your job? I haven't dreamt of being a tour guide all my life, but it is fun. What job do you dream of? I'm actually an actor, a trained actor. In fact, a lot of us tour guides are. We act like we like guiding and we like Americans. My name, is, my name is Scarlett Peters, and I'm one of the new guys for official London tours. I'm just about to finish my one month's probation. How are you finding it? Um, I don't really like speaking in public or meeting new people, but apart from that, it's okay. Why don't you like meeting new people? I get really nervous. But I always make sure I do the best for my customers as I can. So why guiding then? I've always wanted to be a guide. When I was younger, my mum took me on one of the open top buses and the guide was so funny and so cool. Ever since then, all I've wanted to do is guide. So this job is kind of a dream come true? Kind of. Um, I've got to pass my assessment first. When is this assessment? A few weeks time. You feeling confident? Um, no. The black jumper is doing my assessment. The black jumper? The managing director. He made the last guide cry. I have a duty manager doing my tour today to give me any feedback and prepare me for my assessment. Is it hard juggling full-time guiding with acting? Not really. What was your last acting job? Um, I did a music video last week. Oh, which one? What? Whose? What? Whose video was it? Um, I can't say. She was in the Downton Abbey Christmas special last Christmas. Were you? Yes, anyway. And she was picked to be in the new Star Wars film, but um, the manager didn't let her have the time off. Um, yeah, so sad. Anyway, I'm meeting my agent tomorrow to discuss a feature film casting or something. Tell them who your mum is, Ash. No! Shh! Karen Davis and I've been guiding for Fisher London for four years on and off. You must know a lot about London. Too much. Do you enjoy your job, Karen? It's fine. Job's a job. Is London history a passion of yours? No. I'm Welsh. Came here four years ago to see my grand, but then I lost my return ticket, so I had to stay. Look, how long is this going to take? You said you wouldn't be annoying, and Mr. Boom over there says you'd pay me. Ashley told us that you'd been called into the office to see the black jumper. Oh, that girl just gets more and more irritated, doesn't she? Why have you been asked in? I don't know, ask them. Karen, is it okay if we fill some of your tour today? You have to. I'm hanging. OK. 
okay? Just don't go causing a commotion because I don't want them thinking they're getting any special treatment, all right? Ashley, I have a casting for you next week. It's big money. Oh, great. Shelley, I've told you I don't want to do any more commercials. It's big money. Oh my God, there's no way I'm doing that. That is humiliating. Now let's get serious. You're a middle-class white girl amongst trillions of middle-class white girls in this industry. I had hoped that with your looks and your talent, I could get you some work. But to be brutally honest, it's not working. You need to do something different. Have you thought about your weight? You want me to lose more weight? No, everyone's thin. What? I want you to gain weight. What? I'm thinking three or four stone. I don't understand. Ashley, I've told you many times, in this industry you either have to be fat or thin. We've tried skinny, that failed. Now let's try overweight, borderline obese. The crime reconstruction love the fatties. Basically swap the tofu and the animal protests and buy a Big Mac and a maternity dress. Shelley, this is ridiculous. Who's doing best, Jennifer Saunders or Dawn French? What? Jenny McCarthy or Melissa McCarthy? I don't understand. Exactly. I'm not gaining weight. Well, there are a few other options. A oh, few. Disabilities. We could reinvent you as a wheelchair actress. They're in demand at the moment. No. Ethnicity. Get a spray tan. Change your last name. And I'm sure I could get you an audition for West Side Story. Really? Yes. Ian Watkins is doing it. I thought he was in prison. The one from Steps. He doesn't look Puerto Rican. He's having tanning injections. Really, his commitment is incredible. Hopefully, some of it might rub off on you. What, the tan? The BBC called. They're looking for a Chinese actress for Pride and Prejudice. Now, if we could just do something about your I eyes. I have to go now. I have some double-sided sticky tape. Please, just get me some auditions. Oh, Ashley. If you only just told people who your mother was and changed your name, I'm sure I could get you millions of auditions. No, I want nothing to do with her. I'm doing this on my own. Would you oh, can you stop filming now? So you will gain weight? No commitment. This is the last audition I'm ever going to do. So one of the managers is about to do my whole tour for the first time to give me some feedback for my assessment. How are you feeling? Um, OK. Scarlett, what will happen if the managers aren't impressed today? What? Why would you say that? I don't know. Um, Ashley said that she would come on the tour to be like a friendly face, but she's not answering my call, so I'm just waiting for Karen. How would you feel if you lost your job? What? Do you think they'll sack me? No, but how would you feel? Well, I wouldn't care. Would you want to carry on being a tour guide? Maybe. Well, I don't know, I'd probably go back to Wales. That'd be good though, wouldn't it? You said you wanted to go back. The nightlife is shite. Anyway, they can't sack me. I haven't done anything wrong. They know what my tours are like. They know I've got a certain style. You know, people like to be disciplined, especially Americans. The only thing they might have a problem with is, well, I made a joke about a customer's penis being as big as the gherkin. You know, but everyone knew it was a joke. But anyway, that's a nice compliment, so it shouldn't be a problem. Hello everyone, my name 
My name is Scarlett Peters and I'm going to be your guide today. Um, I'm from official London tour. Come here. So, sorry, sorry. Um, I'm going to be your tide guide for the day. Um, I'm going to be your guide for the next two and a half hours. Um, so we're going to have some fun. Sometimes the tours can be a little longer. Um, I have once done a tour which was um, five and a half hours, but hopefully today the traffic will be okay and it'll just be two and a half. Here we are in Whitehall, the centre of government in London. Now, if you look to your left, these black gates, this is Downing Street, home to our Prime Minister, James Cameron. I know it's... Yes. Not James Cameron, David Cameron. Oh, sorry, yes, I meant, I meant, I meant David Cameron, yes, sorry. I put mine like a sieve today. Here we are in Cheapside, home to the Cheapside hordes. Now, if you look to your left at its construction site, I, I know it's not the most uh, exciting thing to see on a sightseeing tour, but this construction site is quite special. It's been nicknamed the Pompeii of the North. They have found around 10,000 artifacts which date from 2,000 years old. They found Roman leather shoes, Roman money, jewelry, a complete corner of a bar as well. Now, if you want to go and see the cheap whore, sorry, if you want to go and see the Cheapside hoard, if you, want to go, if you want to go and see the Cheapside Hoard, Hoard, please make sure you go and see the Museum of London because it's on display there. Hoard. Um, so we, there's a lot of songs about London that we could sing. Uh, my favourite one is um, London Bridge is Falling Down. Do you want to we all sing that? We're looking for house number 10 coming up on the left, which was sold for £93 million. Pounds. 93 million pounds. I would never be able to afford that amount of money. Even if I sold my body, I'd never be able to afford that amount of money. Not that, not that I do sell my body, I just mean that even if I sold everything, I would never be able to afford that house. N not that I've got anything against prostitutes, I just mean that, you know, it, it's up to you how you earn your living. You're looking at me? No, madam, no, not at all, sorry, no, not at all. London Bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down. London Bridge is falling. Now then there were 70 rooms. Not enough for her, so she added 705. There are 775 rooms in Buckingham Palace. I'm Andrew. Scarlet. What nice eyes. So what did you think of Scarlet's tour? Well, it was quite bizarre. I don't think I've ever seen a tour guide mess up her words quite so badly. She gets very nervous and she isn't very good at interacting with customers. Her facts are alright, but her delivery is very, very poor. Now, she's got a lot of work to do before the managing director sees her in a couple of weeks' time. She's a nice girl, but I just don't think she's cut out to be a tour guide.